Mohammed Mubarak. I've been knowing you around West Coast Vegas scene for a while. Uh, just excellent work you do with these paintings. Tell me more about this. Well, you know, I've been around boxing a long, long time, since the early 80s. Uh, one of the first fights I was at, live fight, was Duran and Benitez yeah. at Caesar's Palace. And I did a portrait for Duran's interpreter, Luis Enriquez. Yeah. The late Luis Enriquez. He had me to do a portrait of him and Don King together. Yeah. And that led me to a relationship with Don King and uh, Larry Holmes and Jerry Cooney and Michael Spinks. Yeah. What is it like, this artwork you do? How have you been, been such a good artist, though? Is it just natural instinct? I've been drawing all my life. And since 1970, I've been painting. And uh, I made a career out of it. You know, uh, yeah. I've gravitated from painting to do photography. And now we see it's a fight doing I'm ringside. Now writing a boxing column yeah. called Ringside Update for the Electronic Urban Report. Um, are you watching the fight tonight, Canelo Chavez? I will be on the highway headed back to Los Angeles. Do you have any predictions on it? Well, uh, you know, it could go either way, but I think that Chavez is a bigger guy. Uh, if he can stay out of the way of uh, Canelo's punches, hard-hitting right hands and uppercuts, Canelo moves around a lot. Yeah. And, you know, uh, if Chavez shows up, he can beat Canelo. If he shows up, got you. Trust me. How can people keep in touch with you so they can inquire about more of your work? Well, you can go to Instagram, qmubarak06 at AOL is my email, and qmubarak06 on Instagram. Go to that. Okay. And my website is mubarakart.com. Wait a minute, you tell me you did this three days ago? Three days ago. Wow, how did you make this? It is so specifically for this event. Really? <laughs> The greatest, huh? The greatest. But truth be told, Jack Johnson opened the door for a lot of black fighters to come in the boxing world and make money and make become champ. 1908, he was champ. When you do these paintings, and it's about tradition to you and your culture, it's, it's deeper than just a painting. It's a little deeper. You know, I used to be in the Black Panthers back in yeah. the late 60s in Los Angeles. And I've always been, you know, a fighter for justice, for our hey, Isaac, come here. And, uh, equality for everybody. You know what I mean? and so transitioning into the boxing world, I see that there's a lot of inequality that exists for our people. If you're not a fighter making money, then you are really nothing to a lot of folks. And that's the truth. Yeah. You know, uh, Don King, being an African-American promoter, really and truthfully the greatest promoter of all time. That's true. And, uh, happen to be African-American. So, you know, uh, That's a good we got my man Chris Poole, yeah. my partner. 